Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Gemini please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Geminis. 1st to the 7th of March 2021, thank you. I'm going to choose with these cards because they're a little bit chunky. <laughs> so let's see how we go. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Gemini. Okay, we have two cards, interestingly enough. Queen of Wands and we have the Eight of Swords. So I have brilliant, talented, independent, controlling, there is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself and never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. And then we have illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action, take responsibility of your life now. So the Queen of Wands is generally Aries for me as a reader. Uh, can be fire energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who represents that energy. You might be dealing with somebody. This can be an energy of feeling negative or uh, powerless against somebody who is very powerful. But this can also be you not recognizing your own power, Gemini, as well. Your own talent, brilliance, the need to take control. Yeah. Okay. Message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Geminis. 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Got a contract. Could be to do with a legal situation. It's number six there, Gemini. So let's see what else we get. I think I had something to do with contracts that I was feeling for Aquarius. I mean, it's not unusual for signs of the same element to have similar energies. Let's see what else we get. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Gemini, thank you, for the week. What does Gemini need to hear? I have choose a new direction. Okay, Gemini. I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify to go deeper into the reading. And as always, it won't, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides, 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Message for... Our lovely Geminis, thank you. Card is out. We have the page of coins and your challenge position. Ace of cups. And the moon. Okay, message for Gemini, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Gemini, thank you. Six of Coins. So your advice from Spirit. <laughs> We've got the Page of Wands with the Ace of Cups. And the Moon Energy, we have the Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups here, Gemini. I like that energy very much. It's lovely. So I've kind of spoken about this. It feels for some of you... I'm definitely getting this energy of either you not recognising your own power 
or dealing with or feeling powerless with somebody in your life. And there's definitely this energy of the opportunity to, man it feels to do with, it feels more to do with money, career, finances, I have to say. And you're being told to choose a new direction. It might well be that you're not happy with regard to a contract or what's in your contract and how you're interacting with somebody. It feels, to, I mean, the Queen of Wands is generally a leader, somebody in authority, somebody who is a magnetic leader, you know? She is driven, she is powerful, she is confident. So either this is you not recognizing your own power to bring your hope, dream, wish to reality, or this energy of dealing with somebody, feeling negative towards somebody, or blocked. Yeah. So the page of coins is generally news messenger. The, the page is a messenger, so a message to do with career, financial opportunity. Can also be something that you've been working towards, if you've been working towards some kind of opportunity. This six of coins is is an energy of, yeah, it, it can be an energy of breadcrumbs, it can be an energy of feeling lack, not having enough, needing to ask for help, receiving charity. But this page is linked to opening a new door, to bringing change to a situation. There could have been delays here with regard to some kind of money, career, financial opportunity here. And it could be to do with, that could be what the Eight of Swords is all about. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it happen. I'm not seeing the good things come in because there are delays. It feels, it feels to do with some kind of contract, some kind of offer or opportunity coming your way. And I'm definitely getting this energy of I'm not seeing it, it, it come. It's, if, if, I'm definitely getting this energy of I, I'm not seeing it. I'm, there's some kind of delay here, Gemini. That's what I'm getting. But then all of a sudden, I mean, this is the advice from Spirit is don't worry, it's coming. There is some good news coming with regard to some opportunity. Now, this is an opportunity close to your heart. Um, did we have this the other week for you? Um, I'm feeling it resonating for, you know, at least a couple of weeks here, this Ace of Cups. But the Ace of Cups is the cup of joy. This is where you are finding joy. The Page of Wands can hold an opportunity. So, the, and again, the, the Wands energy can be to do with potential power, business career, uh, something that's very close to your passion, something that you really want, something that is going to bring you the new beginning in terms of joy. This is emotional rebirth, finding your joy, your happiness, that new door opening as a result of this. So I'm definitely getting this energy here, Gemini, of some kind of good news coming your way that is bringing the beginnings of new joy in your life, uh, a new door, a happy door opening. And it just comes, you know, the page of wands is the beginnings of growth, the beginnings of something that has real potential to really grow into something big, you know, it's that kind of energy. It's something that is very much linked to your passions, what you've been driven towards. So it feels that there may have been some delays and then there is some kind of opportunity here and that is what spirit is telling you. And that's what he, the spirit is reinforcing. Don't worry. Don't worry. The new door is opening. The new door is opening. You just keep taking action. You just keep trusting your intuition and putting your energy and effort towards where I'm leading you now. Because even though you don't see it, I'm leading you in the right direction. I am leading you towards that full cup amongst all the other options around you. There is one full cup of opportunity, something uplifting, something fulfilling. 
that is linked with this, the Ace of Cups. So it's definitely this energy of you're being led in that direction here. Even though you don't see it, you are being given hidden blessings. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does. Trust your intuition this week, Gemini, because it's leading you to victory and a significant achievement. Uh, Six of Wands is a card of victory, success. It's a card of overcoming challenge as well. And it's a card of, for me, you know, really discovering what you're made of um, by claiming some kind of victory, significant achievement, success. And also recognition. I feel this is linked with some kind of recognition. If you feel somebody isn't seeing you for what you're worth, there is some kind of new direction that's opening up for you here where you are being recognized for your worth. Interesting that I'm getting that too. But I love the energy here. So definitely what I'm getting, a card of hidden blessings. Um, absolutely, the good news is coming. And wow, this is just... This is the universe. You are the vessel. The universe is pouring loving lo love and light. It's filling you up with love, light, joy, happiness with this new beginning. Remember, the Ace of Cups is emotional, can be physical, but it's also emotional. Um, some kind of new happiness coming your way. And it's to do with some kind of significant achievement of coming through a challenge where you may have been challenged. I mean, I, I'm feeling in terms of money, career, finances, or maybe not even getting the recognition that you deserve here, Gemini. I'm definitely getting this energy of recognition resonating quite strongly with me. So getting recognized, go in this direction. That's what you're being told. Uh, keep taking action. This is the divine nudge card. And I feel very much this is to do with that new direction, new, new hope, new path, call it what you will, that is linked with this page of wands. Something exciting. Okay, so final message for Gemini, final message for Gemini. Okay, so I think I had this for Libra actually. We have shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. I'm definitely getting this recognition energy. If somebody hasn't recognized you for what you're worth, for who you are, there's definitely this energy here of that is about to change. In whatever context this resonates. Yeah. If there have been delays here in terms of getting that recognition or feedback, there is definitely good news, a new door opening, a significant achievement coming your way. Yeah, beautiful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.